From 1st of October 2023, all short-term let accommodation in Scotland needs a license. Holiday home, cottages, bed and breakfast, guest houses, rooms within a home and unconventional accommodation like pods fall under this category. In order to obtain a license, you need to make an application to your local council, local authority where the premises are located. This is Khan and welcome to my channel. The purpose of this channel is to provide you 100% free guidance and consultation so you can do things on your own and helps other too. This video is a complete guide how to apply short term let license and I will answer all your questions and after watching this video you can apply license by your own. So without wasting time let's start. Types of short term let license. What are the mandatory conditions for the short term let license? What documents you need for short term let license? What are the conditions for the short term license? What is the application process? What is the fees for the license? Reasons to refuse for the license? Who can apply the license? What is the short term let license offense? How to apply for planning permission? How to display public notice? What is the certificate of compliance for the public notice? From 1st of October 2023, if you use accommodation to offer short term let in Scotland, you will need to apply for a license from your local council. Let's discuss now types of short term let license. There are four types of license home sharing, home letting, secondary letting, home letting and home sharing. Now let's discuss them in detail. Home sharing means you rent out all or part of your own home while you are living there. Home letting means letting all or part of your home while you are not there. For example, you will be on holidays when the people will be staying in your property. Secondary letting means letting a property where you do not normally live, for example, a second home or a holiday let. Home letting and home sharing means you let out all or part of your home, both while you are living there and also at the time when you are not there. This is the most common license which you will apply. Now let's discuss the mandatory conditions for the short term li license is. There are three mandatory conditions which you need to consider. One is health and safety. Second, fit and proper person. Third, compliance. Which means day to day management of your short term let. Only operating under the type of license granted. Fire safety gas safety, electrical safety, water safety, safety and repair standard, maximum occupancy, displaying information, planning permission, listing of license number of adverts, insurance, payment of fees, providing true and accurate information. Now let's discuss what documents you need for short term let license. You need to supply a annual gas certificate along with your application along with the electrical installation conditional report portable appliance test report you should provide expiry date for epc certificate building insurance public liability insurance and risk assessment what are the additional considerations and conditions for the short term let license. The additional information which you need to provide is premises, neighborhood and behavior, which means overcrowding of the property, noise and nonsense, litter or other mess, maintaining the property and common areas, safety or hot tub, barbecues etc, unlawful activity and parking. What is the application process for applying the short term let license? So you need to apply for the host application first, then housing process, objections, 
consultee feed, feedback, license decision. So when you will do the host application, you will send application and relevant doc documents. You will pay relevant fee, display public notice for 21 days, return certificate of compliance after 21 days. Housing process, check application is valid, write to applicants, consult with fire, police and protective services, display applications on public register. Objections, public objections, five council review objections or any other council review objections and then determination. Consultee feedback, police Scotland fit and proper check, fire rescue services, fire safety check, protective services, risk approach to inspect, inspection if required. Licensing decision, inform applicant of decision, issue license or refusal, manage inquiries and complaint, enforcement actions if required. What is the application process in terms of the documents? So you need to provide electrical installation conditional report, which is also known as EICR, which must be valid for five years. C1 and C2 recommendation requires fixes. After that, PAT test, which is also known as portable appliance testing. Gas safety certificate, floor plan and planning permission if required. Host and operators, only those names on the license can carry out the day-to-day -day management and short-term let. EPC certificate, which is also known as energy performance certificate, must be valid for 10 years. Only required for secondary letting. Fire safety, insurance. Now let's discuss the fees for the license. Fees structure is depend on occupancy based. So for example, if one up to two occupancy, then the temporary license fee is 215 pound. The first full license is 264 pound and renewal license fee is 264 again after a year. If three or four people staying in that occupancy, then 292 will be the fees. If five and six, then 320 and it goes up according to the number of occupancy. Reason to refuse for the license. Your license can be refused if anybody named on the application has been disqualified or is not fit or proper person or the premises are not suitable or convenient, for example, the location or possibility of undue public noise. You cannot demonstrate or secure compliance of the mandatory conditions and additional conditions. You have right to appeal. If your application for the license is refused, you have 28 days to appeal against the decision by summary application to the sheriff. Other obligations are public objections and hearings. Grounds for objection may include concern the application is inaccurate or misleading, the safety of guest, neighbors or others, noise or nonsense, the application runs contrary to the other legal requirement. It is the council to determine whether any objection received has material impact upon the licensing application. Any hearing will be held by the housing decision panel and they will decide the decision. Who can apply the license? Owner's permission is required to submit an application for the license. All parties need to be named on the application form. A solicitor or letting agent can apply on your behalf. What is the short-term let license offenses? Under the Act 1982, operating without a license fee, 
failing to comply with the license condition, making a false statement, failing to notify the changes. How to apply for the planning permission? Planning permission and control areas is determined by case-to-case -case basis. Planning permission is required for short-term letting if any house or flat within a controlled area. You can submit an application online by going to eplanning.scotland.gov.uk. You have to pay fees for it when you will apply for the planning permission. Applicant should apply for planning permission at least four months in advance of a license. How to display public notice? This is the example which you need to publicly display this notice. You need to display this notice for 28 days. If you need this notice, just email it to me at the bottom email address and I will send this application in the PDF format. What is the certificate of compliance for public notice? This is the certificate which you need for displaying the notice. On this, you will mention full name of the applicant, short term let address, applicant signature and date. This is basically you confirm to the council that you have displayed the notice for 28, 21 days of the period. So it's actually 21 days you have to publicly display this notice. If you have any questions regarding this short term let license, feel free to email it to me and I'll get back to you.